we are revisiting the parts of speech. Can somebody tell me one part of speech? An adjective. An adjective. Okay. Thank you. Can you define an adjective? An adjective. Give me one part of speech. And you're laughing. By the time I get back to you, that smile will just disappear off your face. I'm waiting for you. A conjunction. <coughs> and you, Mr. Man over there. Eh? You! <laughs> eh? What eh? You don't know when you're being pointed at. Uh, Auntie, I'm not feeling fine. <laughs> you're not feeling fine. And what has that got to do with the part of speech on the board? Um, 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 um. Chantel! 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 I can see how much you enjoy taking your class now in your dreamland. Sorry, Mom. Keep that sorry to yourself and take it to your friends in your dreamland. See me in my office immediately after this lesson. And I don't want to see those eyes closed again. If I do, you open them wide under the sun till the end of school today. I'm sorry, ma. I hate sorry. Keep it to yourself. If I try to give me, what is an adjective? My aunt, I see you after class. Yes, I did. Shanta. I've warned you times with that man. Stop sleeping in my class. Not even in any other teacher's class. I tried talking to your mother about this in our last PTA meeting. Chantal, up to this time, I am not seeing changes. I haven't seen any change in you. What is actually wrong with you? Ma'am, nothing is wrong with me. Nothing is wrong with you. Okay. I want to believe it's a psychological problem. So you go home and get treatment and stop infecting other students with your disease. Huh? Because next time I catch you or get you sleeping in my class or anybody's class, Chantel, you will not only have me to contend with, but the entire school has it. Mom, I learned you have only one daughter. And it's already 25 minutes, 53 seconds past the time you're supposed to pick her up from school. And if we continue this conversation, I'm afraid she'll have to trek home. Come here. It's true. Just get out, get out. Get out, leave my office. Yeah. Even the devil can be right at times. You're back. Yes. How was it? I hope. Did, did, did she punish you? No. Why? I, I, I was scared. I thought she was going to hurt you. I had to tell her something that was more important than our conversation. So she I had to hurriedly leave. I trust you. <laughs> um, Chantel, hmm? this constant sleeping of yours in class is becoming a concern to me. You really need to stop it. 
Even you, Stephen? Yes. Even me. For crying out loud, I'm your friend. I'll always tell you the truth, no matter how it hurts you. See, you need to stop it. Do you know the dream I always tell you about? Um, about, what was it called? The house address or something? Yes, I saw it today. I saw it yesterday. I see it every day, Stephen. I, I don't know, I feel like this dream I'm always having. The address I see is trying to reveal something to me that I'm yet to find out. There is nothing to be revealed to you. You saw it yesterday, you saw it today, you saw it every day. You just need to stop this. For crying out loud, you're craving a bad name for yourself. The next time you say it in your dreams, you probably you can just use board mass to solve it. Because it's becoming a concern to me. I don't like it. It's not funny! I'm not joking. Santa, you know I don't like it. Daniel, you're back so early and you're back so late. Why did you not wait for me so that we can go home together? I waited for you for more than 10 minutes. I didn't see you so I decided to go home with my classmates. I had a meeting with my teacher. A meeting with your teacher? Why? The teacher always complains that I always sleep in class and my attention is never on what she's teaching. I don't blame you. Maybe... Her teaching is boring. Yes, you have every right to sleep. Who knows, you might learn better things than her teaching in the dream world. You are beginning to talk like my classmates. And it's not funny at all. I always have this transition between my conscious and subconscious. And in that transition, I see an address. A house address. I feel like something is forcefully trying to reveal itself to me. Something. Do you know what I think? I think it's hunger syndrome. Yes, let's buy something and eat. I'm sure that all these your dreams will go away. It's so pointless talking to you. What do you want to cook? Cook? I'm going to cook anything. What? As you can see, I'm starving of hunger. Yes. Where is she? Maybe she's inside sleeping. I don't know. Sleeping. I don't think so. Mom! 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 What's wrong? Ah, you're back. Really late. Yes, I had a brief meeting with my class teacher. Why are you crying? I'm not crying. Mom, I can see it. You're crying. And if you don't tell me, I will keep persisting until you tell me. I failed in my duty as a mother. Other children come back from school, meet their food, serve, waiting for them to eat. But in my own case, my children came back home on a naughty stomach. Eh? Hoping that they will see food to eat, but there is no food for them to eat. Oh, you're not supposed to be crying. You know your health status. Listen, okay. you've not failed in your duties as a mother. In fact, you're the best mom in the world. Thank you. You've already saw us through this stage, and you fought your way to see us through school as well, even as Papa died. Mommy. You're the best mother any daughter or son could ever ask for. Hmm? Thank you, my daughter. Do you know what? I'm coming. Where are you going to? Mom, I'll be back. I'll be back soon. Just, I'm coming. Good afternoon, my child. And what would you want to eat? I want you to package three plates of uh, beans and uh, plantain for me. Wow. Okay. Like how much? I don't have any money on me. What do you mean you have no money on me? 
does this place look like a charity organization or an orphanage or where we share food? My please, my brother and my mother need to eat something. If I've been doing that, this place would have closed down by now. Please, if I drag you out. Your daughter Chinaza has a twin sister. The same twin you strangled with your bare hands because you felt like your boobs were going to sag if you both fed from them. What kind of mother does that? Who are you? And how come you know about that? I am that person who will go straight to your husband and report him no, no. what you've done. You say you want how many plates? Seven. Just oh, three. Six. Two. Two. Please, Shante. Where did you get the money you used to buy this food? Mama, it doesn't matter. You can enjoy your food. Shut up, Daniel. It matters. Because I'm sure that Shante has no money. How come did she buy this food? Mama, you could have asked this question before eating. But no, you waited until you were very satisfied before you asked. Mama, if she wanted to poison you, you could be here. Will you shut up? Into that trap. Will you shut up before I shut it for you? So you think it's funny? Sorry, Mama. I asked again. Shantel, where did you get the money? Use and buy all this food. Stephen gave me some money to hold for him. Where did he get the money? We are going to buy textbooks. So he didn't pay his own on time. So he gave it to me to work for him so he wouldn't spend it. That's the money I used to buy the food. And why didn't you tell me about the textbook? Aren't you buying yours? Mom, you know that both of us, we don't have any money. Talk more of buying textbooks. So just don't worry. I will sort my way out. Thank you, my daughter. But at least you would have told me. I'm still your mother, and it is my responsibility to take care of you and your brother. Mama, it's fine. Sister, thank you so much for the food. Mm. Mm. I know you like it. I love it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> food, eat. Sweet home. I know you'll be happy to be back home. Dad, it feels so big, dark and empty without. without. Son, I know. Please, all we need now is just go inside, freshen up, and that will prepare your favorite for you, okay? We just return. Yes, father. Yeah. Okay, father. Yeah, please, give me a Enjoy your food. I'm not hungry, Dad. How can you say you're not hungry? You've never said no to white rice and stew. Besides, this is the first food I've served you since you returned. Father, food is the last thing on my mind. That's if it's even inclusive. I don't understand. For how long? How long are we supposed to pretend as though nothing happened? 
We used to be three on this table. We used to be one big happy family. I'm not hungry. Stop. You are right. He pierced me like a sword. This time I remember how she used to shout food whenever we were on this table. I can never forget her words to you. That you had a lion and she would always view the lion she had. I can never forget it. Still rings bell. And my memory is like it was yesterday. That's why. Why did death took away from us? Why? Why would God let this carnage before us? My mother was a good and caring woman. She does not deserve this kind of death. Why would God let and allow all this kind of things happen to us? Death could have taken me instead. Yes, I am better off dead than alive being in the state. Son. Father, I can't even see you. Son, don't say that. I am here with you. Help me. Open your eyes, please. We get on with this together, please. Son, eat something, please. Know your medication, please. I'm not hungry, Dad. I'm not. <laughs> Why are you laughing? You know you went too far to get food from that woman. What could I have done? I couldn't let my family starve. But she would have just come straight to my house. We have food. I and my mother won't hesitate to give you food if you ask. For how long am I going to keep doing that? Coming to your house to beg for food? But you know it's nothing. So why would you say you're begging for food? We are good friends, Chantel. So don't say that you're begging for food. You're not. Besides, if I happens to be in your shoe, you will do the same for me. Thank you for everything. But come to think of it, you know what you did to that woman was wrong. You, you shouldn't have collected food from that woman like that. I, I didn't know what to do. I just had to tell her something that would make her give me food. But you know, with what you said to that woman, you can be collecting food from that woman every day. And she won't even hesitate to give you. But that's wrong. You know, right? You don't use people's past against them. We all have our past. Noted. So, promise me you're not going to do it again. <laughs> it's not a promise, but I accept. Alright then. Okay, um... So what do you want now? Yeah. Do you know that I wonder how Chantel managed to pass in class when all she does is to sleep in class? Maybe. Maybe. It is a fact that buys her always. Come to tell her the answer during the exam. <laughs> <laughs> Girls, am I the only one that noticed that this girl is rude and she has this mysterious thing surrounding her? I have noticed that severally. <clears throat> My sisters. Yes, me too. Hmm. I strongly believe that she's possessed with a white spirit. How do you know that is true? <laughs> It's you and your entire family are possessed with you. You that your parents come to this school each time to come and buy your way out to the next class. And you still have the mouth to nose you around. Who told you that? It's a lie. And I won't risk it being expelled from this school. Don't, don't push me because what I'm going to do to you, you will regret it for your lifetime. 
What will you do? What will I do? Amaka, it is so amusing how you defend your friends in public. The same friends that gossip behind your back when you're not around them. In their words, her mother was an imbecile before she took her own life. Imbecility runs in their blood. That is why she never passes any question. Gino, is this true? Next time you cross our paths, I will deal with you. Do you hear me? Okay, we're sorry. Sorry. Very sorry. Did you join me? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. I still can't wrap my head around the fact that she's gone. You know, she was not just my best friend. She was like a sister to me. She was very gentle. I'm hurting so much. I miss her so much. It's as though a part of me has been amputated. I understand how you feel. You guys were so close. But please take it easy. Don't think too much. You need to be strong. Everything will be alright. You think so? I know so. And besides, you and Victor have somebody in heaven now interceding for both of you. <sighs> Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Um, what of Victor? How is he holding up? How is he taking uh, his mother's death? Ah, the trauma is too much. Ah. Emotionally, physically, and otherwise. Ah, it's not easy, but it's only my I know. There's nothing compared to a mother's death. It's very painful. Please. I would like to see him before I leave. He's sleeping inside his room. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, uh, thanks for coming. You did well. Don't mention. I guess I'll see him next time. Ah, uh, come on. Uh, feel free. Feel free to be coming at home. Check on us. Oh, definitely. I will. I will. Please, take it easy. Victor needs you now more than <laughs> ever. You need to be strong for him, okay? I was never ready for this. I know. But it's okay. I will see you, okay? No problem. Thank you. Thank you for earlier. Oh, come on. Defending you is the least I can do. Okay? Don't, don't mind those bullies. Let me tell you something. If they fight you, and try to intimidate you. Fight them back. Do you understand? Don't mind those, those, those bullies. They are only jealous of your uniqueness in this school. I've already said, but do you think I'm possessed? Possessed? No. Do you know what I think? I think you're special. Oh yes, you're gifted. You have something mere human beings don't have. And that's your sight. You can see the futures. If I were you, I have this kind of gift you have. I will make a whole lot of money from it. Don't tell me you would be a prophet if you could see vision. Well, I don't know. Because I like money. Or do more. <laughs> Let's go back to class and cut the, cut the face. You're special. You know, right? Special girl. Special Chantel.
Dad, I've been meaning to ask you something. Okay. When do you intend on starting work? I uh, know. Not anytime soon, son. No. And why is that? Son, I cannot leave you alone in the house all by yourself. You need me around to take care of you. Father, you don't need to worry about me. The only thing you need to do is to bathe me in the morning and make food for me. Then you can go. I can take care of myself from there. <laughs> So, you know, that is not possible. There's no way I can leave you alone in this house. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> Father, you know we need finances more than ever now. Me being in this condition, if you run out of finances, it will be devastating. And besides, the drugs that the doctor prescribed for me is very expensive. And you know that, Father. Son. Father. Don't worry yourself, there is no way I will run out of cash. I am prepared, I have enough to take us even beyond one year. Eh? So please, relax. Besides, I run the office from here. The workers work for me. So everything is in, is in order. Father, but you need to be present to monitor the things around the company. Son, Father, can you just close this discussion and never to bring it up again, please? I'm, I'm sorry, Dad. Hey, come on, no need to be sorry. I know you mean well. Eh? Come on, give me that smile. <laughs> yeah. I guess you are ready to go. Yes, I'm ready to go. <laughs> yeah, I want to thank you for. What is it? Now, do you ask me? I really appreciate it. Well, it's the least I can do. Besides, when I got here, everywhere was very untidy. So I have to tidy everywhere up. And they have already made lunch. In fact, that dish digger is already on the dining. I made enough soup and stew. It's in the freezer. And dished it in portions. So all you need to do is, um, if you want to eat swallow, just make it back. And if you want to eat rice, just take a portion of the stew and microwave. <laughs> You're such a wonderful person. I really appreciate what you did. Um, let's have forget. <laughs> you know, we have to show appreciation. <laughs> yes. Please keep your money. If I had wanted to be paid, I would have applied to be your housekeeper. What I did, I did from my heart. And what are you waiting for? Come on, just apply. Come on and live with us. Yes, come in. Oh, please. You cannot afford me. I am expensive. <laughs> like seriously? Like seriously. <laughs> <laughs> you are very funny. <laughs> ah, please, just marry it, okay? No, don't worry. I'll see you. No, no, just keep it okay. I'm doing this from the bottom of my heart. If I don't, who will? Yeah. So, let me take my leave. Right, so, so. I will feel free to come, you know? Oh, definitely. Yeah. I will come. Okay. Okay, take care. Yeah, you have a wonderful day. Thank you. Are you not the same person that just informed me you are hungry? Dad, I don't seem to understand what you and Ifnanya are doing. But her going into my late mother's kitchen to cook is a no no, and I consider it inappropriate. Did you also consider it inappropriate when she was busy cleaning the whole house? Son, uh -uh. what is happening? Father, I I don't just like her. Simple. The person you are talking about is your late mother's best friend. 
Father, I don't care. I don't care. But for her going into my mother's kitchen to cook is outright disrespect and I won't take it. I won't take it, Dad. You're late, Mom. <laughs> late, Mom? Yes. How convenient. Well, son, I am going there to entertain myself. If you want to join me, fine. But if you don't want to join me, you can still remain here and brood over spilled milk. What happened today in class? Yes, that reminds me. How did Chante know the question to the forthcoming exam weeks? How? I'm still confused. I'm surprised. The worst thing is that he told the teacher who she sold it to and the exact amount she sold it. I am fully convinced that Shetel of the girl mm. is a real. She's very evil. The worst thing is that she exposed to the man. The huh? lady. How they'll be gossiping her secretly concerning her matter. If this matter goes to the school authority, they will start that teachers of hers. Mm -hmm. So Miss Gift can be involved in examer practice after all her religiousness. Hey! My brother, she was pretending. Don't just go. Ready to go. I I don't understand. I'm done with this house choice, so it's time for me to leave. Please stay. Excuse me. Yes, I mean it. Please. Come on, look at the weather. It's already late for you to leave. I wouldn't want anything to happen to you while you're going from here. Besides, we have enough room for you to sleep. Please stay. Well, I would have stayed, but considering the fact... I, I insist you stay. Please, uh, at least, for the sake of your late friend, you stay. You know, when it comes to my late friend, I can't say no. It got me there. <laughs> I know I got you. Yes, uh, come on. <laughs> but, first thing tomorrow, I'm off. Deal. Deal. Yes. All right then. Ah, come on, let me show you. Okay. After you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, son. You are fine looking like this. We both know you are not fine. Son, I know you don't like it, Fenanya. Yes. But you cannot erase the fact that we need company. No. We need someone around us to help us do the hard job. Father, I understand. But everything is happening so fast. This. The death of my mother. And just before her corpse decomposed beneath the ground, another woman is about to take her place on it. It hurts so much. Son. Son. Father. No one will take her place anytime soon. No. Yes, I, I asked her to stay because she's very late. And her present will even allow me to start job, which you have desired me to start. Yes. Have you forgotten you wanted me to start? Have you forgotten, son? Yeah, I understand. But there is something about that woman. There's something about her that I can't just place my hand on. It's fine. 
I just hope you're making the right decision. Son, I know what I'm doing. Believe me, I do. Sorry, Dad. I would love to be left alone. Chantal, this your constant sleeping in class is becoming disturbing. What's your problem? I can't help it. I don't sleep well at night, that's why I sleep in class. You and I know very well that you don't, you're not the reading type at night. So what stop you from sleeping? The constant dreams. Is it a dream you tell me about? Um, I think it's high time you talk to your mom about it. No, I don't want her to start worrying or reading another meanings to dreams. I'll take care of it. Obviously, you're taking care of it by carving out a bad name for yourself. Is that what you want? Do you think it's a good idea for me to tell my mom? Chantel, that's the best idea. Talk to her about it. She might have a solution to it. I want to be left alone. Welcome, my daughter. Hi. Have you eaten? Yes, I have eaten. How about Daniel? He's inside. Okay. Go in, freshen up. And go to the kitchen, take your food, okay? Okay, Mama. But there is something I want to discuss with you. And this cannot wait until you are done eating. No, Mama. I would rather discuss it here. It must be very, very important. Go ahead, let me hear it. I don't sleep well at night. You wouldn't know because you don't sleep in the same room with Daniel and I. And why are you not sleeping? We are dreams. We are dreams? I don't understand. Whenever I go to bed, I always see this house address. I don't understand. House address? Which house address? Number 26, Abrick Road. Ibusa Junction, North Express. What? Who told you about that house address? Don't you ever mention that again in this house. If I ever hear you mention those course address, you will regret the day you called me your mother. Now get out of my sight. Get out. I said get out. You're here. Please let me help you peel the oranges. My eyes are blind, but my hands are not broken. I don't need your help. Come on, I mean no harm. I just want to help you. Just hand me the knife. You know what? Come to think of it, there are a lot of really bad things one can do with a sharp edge. Really, really, really bad things. And please, do not let me pragmatically show you one of them. An advice, leave me alone. I was just trying to help you. I don't need your help. I would love to be left alone. has never shouted at me like the way she did yesterday when I told her about my dream. 
Does she know about it? I suggest she knows something about it. Because the way she reacted, how got me worried. You know, you why not use your supernatural gift or whatsoever and unravel the mystery behind this constant dreams of yours? I've tried, but I can't. Then you need to try for peace to reign between you and your mother. Because that's the only thing. How about the constant dreams I have? See, I, I would suggest you should just keep your mind off it. Because I, I believe the, may, the more you think about it, the more you, you, you have those strange dreams of yours. So when you put your mind off it, I, I know you are not going to think about it. You are not going to dream about it again. Do you think so? Of course. Just well, try your best. I hope so. Let's just go. Chantel. There's something I want to stick with you. Okay. Sit down. <clears throat> so, what is it? I don't know why your son hates me. My son? Yes. Why do you say so? His attitude towards me. And just the other day, I offered to peel some oranges for him. But he rudely refused. My dear. You know he just lost his mom. And in the process, he had an accident that kept him blind. I strongly believe it doesn't hurt you. All he needs now is love and care. And I believe he will get through it. But that's what I'm trying to do. All I've been doing here is to offer as much help as I could. I know. My son doesn't hurt you. Hmm? Just keep playing around. I promise you, you'll get through it. You will. Come on, brighten up your face. Ah. What did you do, sir? <laughs> Are you not smelling some? <laughs> <laughs> That's the reason why you entered the parlor instead of complaining here to already. <laughs> Actually, like never before. Yeah, I'm just going to try it. Victor. Victor. I want to have a word with him. I have nothing to say to you. That is why I said I want to have a word with you. You don't have to say anything. Just listen to what I'm telling you. I know your mother's death is hard on everybody, especially you. It is also hard on me because she's no more just my best friend. She's like a sister to me. It's a pity. Death took her away from us some time without any prior notice. I love her so much. And you have a weird definition of that word called love. How do you claim that you love someone? When immediately after her demise, you shamelessly packed your bags to her husband's house. My God, who does that? If you ask me, I would say that is what schemers and opportunists like you do. How dare you? And not friends. How dare you speak to me like that? With so much disdain and disrespect. You think I'm jobless or what? I don't care about that. I don't. I resigned my job. I tendered my resignation just to come and take care of my best friend's family. To make sure everything is okay. And what do I get for it? 
this rudeness, this disrespect, that is the thanks I should get for my sacrifice. If not for my best friend, a boy your age cannot speak to me in that way and get away. Anyway, I'm going to leave your house. I'm going to go in and pack my things and leave your father's house. Please do. Leave my father's house. Ifunanya, where are you going to with your bag? I am leaving your house and don't try to stop me. You know it's not possible for me to let you go. What happened? Just tell me. Victor, your son. The insult he gave to me today. He practically stripped me naked with his words. He called me a schemer, an opportunist, who couldn't wait for his mother to die before packing into his father's house. Can you imagine? I've never been insulted like he insulted me today in my whole life. He disrespected me so much. Who does he think he is? Ifunanya, please. I promise you, I will talk to him. If this type of thing repeats itself again, I will not hold you back. I will let you go. But for now, please, let's go inside. So, I can't take it anymore. All I'm doing, I'm doing for my best friend, for his family, and for you. <laughs> it's too much. Please, huh? It's not happening again, I promise you. Huh? I've been back two hours ago, looking for you inside, and here you are. Anyway, what did you tell Ifunanya that made her to pack her things and wanted to leave this house? I told her a lot of things. So what precisely did I tell her that wanted to make her pack her things and leave my father's house? You dare not speak to me in that manner. Have you suddenly added madness to your blindness? Have you? Father. Father, you make jest of my health condition. I knew this day would come. I knew a day like this would come where you would choose that woman over my mother, your late wife. But I never imagined it to be this soon. I knew a day like this would come, father. Son, son, I have tried all I could to make you comfortable and happy. But if you choose to be a sadist to yourself and everyone around you, that's the business. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. If you ever chase this woman away from this house, no one, I said nobody will take care of you when I'm not around. Father, you speak to me like this because of that woman. You have never spoken to me like this before. And what they say is enough. My wise. I'm sure Shanti have told you about her constant dream. I know you are her best friend. Oh, yes, Mama. She told me about it and 
I advised her to come and meet you and discuss it with you, Mama. And she's taking the whole thing seriously. Huh? I'm trying to avoid something here. So I want you to tell her to keep anything synonymous to that her address. Mama, hmm? what are you avoiding? Her self-destruction. What? Yes, if you love her, not, not even as best friend, but as a family friend, you will warn her. Mama, but you haven't told me anything that I can warn her about. So why should I warn her? When a child is asking about what killed his father, that which killed his father will eventually kill him. If you had any atom of love where Shantia, my daughter, is, you would, you would save her for this impending doom. Mama, you're scaring me. Just tell her what I told you. I was uh, 23 years old when I met my wife. Yeah. Then I was serving uh, at Abuja. As a young boy, I, I was naive and I felt I would have my way with any girl I come across. But my wife was exceptional because she got pregnant in the process. And my family practically forced me to marry her after my NYSC so that I don't bring shame to the family. I had no choice than to accept. But as a young boy, I was scared because I knew nothing about being a father. So on the night of our wedding, my wife, she noticed that I am scared. She saw the fear in me. And she came to me with that loving word. She said, Babe, just love me and your unborn child. Every other thing will be fine. <laughs> Since that time, I've held on to that word. And each time I remember it in this her absence, it breaks me. I know. I remember how close you guys were. In fact, I was jealous of you before, in court. And um, though she told me, a little about the story, but she didn't go this deep. I'm really sorry about her loss. You know, you being around, I felt somebody now have been taken off my shoulder. I really want to thank you for leaving everything you are doing behind and moved on to stay with us. I will never take it for granted. Mm, that's so sweet. <laughs> I'm sorry, I got lost. Well, it's okay. I I know how you feel about your wife's death. Putting you down and all. But we can't do this. I can't go down this line with you because her spirit will be angry with me. She will not forgive me. And besides, I promise my God that I will never be with any man except my husband. You don't need to worry. I, I understand. I really do. Okay. Yeah. Um. Ah, uh, I'm very hectic here. Let me just go inside. Freshen up. I'll okay. see you in a moment. Okay. I'll put something on the dining table. Okay. Shanta, listen. Whatever you know you have to do with that dream of yours, disconnect from it right now. Please. Why? 
because it's bringing enemies between you and your mother. Why do you say so? Your mother told me to tell you to disconnect yourself from that dream before it destroys you. Oh, she called you to warn me. All these things are making me more curious to know what's behind the walls of this address I say. I'm just being as well with your mother. It's not what you want. Chantal, save yourself the stress and, and do away with this so-called dream of yours so that everything will be fine. I don't want you to go deep into it and coming out will be too late. Please. I will stop till I get to the root of this. So that's one thing I don't like about you. Why are you always stubborn? I'm telling you to stay away from those dreams. You're telling me you won't stop. What's your problem, Chantel? Chantel! Chantel! And where are you coming from by this time? Obviously, I went to school. How dare you reply me in such a manner? Have you lost it? Huh? I ask you again, where are you coming from by this time? Mom, you know I trek home from school. And this is actually the exact time I come back. You still haven't told me where you went to. If I find out that you went somewhere from school, I will use my hand and cut off this lying tongue of yours. Now look get out from my sight. I said get out! Mama, I've been willing to ask you this question. And what question is that? What has Sister Chantel really done to you? What kind of question is that? Because your attitude towards her these days has really changed. And how is it your concern? Because she's my sister and you're my mother. Mama, we are families. Mama, please tell me. Whatever bothers you, bothers me too. Your sister is almost giving me high blood pressure with her recent attitude and I will not take it with her. Mama, I don't understand. How is my sister's re reactions giving you high blood pressure? She's still the sister I know. Chantel is still the Chantel I know. She hasn't changed. I wish not to discuss this again. Oh, Mama. I said I wish not to discuss this again and don't bring it up again, okay? Okay, Mama. Chantel, your sister. Who am I seeing? Good afternoon, sir. Chantel. Am I right? The daughter of uh, Leshi Fukuro, the yes, great sir. hunter of our land. Yes, sir. Hmm. Do you know you have grown so big? Hmm? Look at everywhere. Anyway, how is your mother? She's fine. All right. Um, do you know it's been long I saw both of you last? Hmm? And you have really grown. Such a big girl. Ah, hmm. uh, um... Sir, so, I have to go now. My mom sent me on an errand. Really? Um, tell your mother that I'll be coming to see her this evening. Hmm? Okay, no problems. And then my mom. Oh, I saw my mom. Oh, Shanta, Shanta. Daniel. Yes, what is it? There's something I've been meaning to ask. Yes? Promise me you won't get angry. 
I should promise. Just what is it? Promise me first now. Okay, fine. I won't be angry. Okay. Um. Is is your sister a chance of really possessed? Why do you say so? I, I didn't I didn't say anything like that. It's not me. But the whole school, my class, everybody says it. I won't deny I haven't heard anyone say it around the school. But I know my sister has been possessed. And my mom. Your mom? Yes. What about her? She doesn't take anything lightly with my sister. Her new attitude towards my sister is really bad. Well, if it was me, I would be angry too. Because who would be happy to hear that the daughter behaves weird and everybody mocks her? I would be angry if it was me. What is it? Uh, I, I'm sorry. You promised not to be angry, so why are you angry? Well, I'll be in my class. I know she will agree. No, she I will talk to her. She's my daughter. And I Don't do, worry. I will do anything for you. Are you serious? My, I know you. Mm. Okay. Okay. Mm. <coughs> oh, as someone. I'm not going to see you. I'm not going to see you. Mm. You're welcome, my daughter. Welcome, Shanty, my beautiful grown up daughter. No, ma'am. <laughs> Wait. Come, come back. Come. Mazin Doka came here to make his intention. Well known to you. Um, you have spoken well. You see, my love, I really love you. And uh, that is why I'm here to marry you. As my third wife. Yes, sir. If you just say yes, he will start making the necessary preparation for the traditional wedding proper. Just say yes, Oh, no. Are you not ashamed of this? Thank God you called me your daughter because you know that you're old enough to be my great friend. Um, uh, uh, Shanta, uh, my love, you see, the tradition of this land allows a man to marry more than one wife, even then. So I'm here to marry you, provided I can take care of you. Okay? Mama, you're sitting down here listening to the rubbish this man is saying, and you've consented to it, right? Please shut up. Shut up and apologize to him. Eh? Why are you insulting Mazi? I did not insult him. Did I insult you? You insulted me. I'm only telling you the truth. That you're so rusty and reckless. I cannot marry you, old man. And listen, leave this house this minute. Because if I go inside and come out, you'll be so sorry for yourself. Don't go. Mazi, please don't go. Mazi, 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 come back, don't go. Why I won't go, Mazi, Mazi, are you going? Mazi, no, no, no. Hey, Mama, you. Hey, Mama, you look one more. Hey, Shanti. Hey, Eh? Shanti. Hey, Mama, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, Now listen to me, you disappointment of a daughter. You must marry Mazindoka, whether you like it or not. Mama, I don't know why you've come up with this decision of yours. How do you expect me to get married to a man old enough to be my grandfather? That will be over my dead body. Oh. Then prepare to die. Because if you don't get married to him, I will make this thing you call life so miserable in this house. Mama, you speak so well of that man. Why don't you go ahead and marry him? I can see you want to bring out the beast in me. Help her. Mama, a bed is allowed to fly above my head. But until I'm dead, that is when that bed is allowed to build a nest on my head. Are you serious? I will not marry that man. 
and I've set my own. Eh? Look at this girl. You're walking out on me, eh? What? Hey! Okay. Shut up, you're walking out on me. Shut up! Shut up! Hmm. So, you want to tell me this house? Which of the mass in the car are you talking about? How many mass in the car do you have in this village? I don't think it's the one that I'm talking about. Because the popular mass in the car, you know, is the village bicycle repair. And who already has two wives with children that are old enough to be our mates. So why would your mother encourage you to settle down with such an old man? That is the mass that I'm talking about that wants to marry me. And my mother has really consented to May heaven forbid that. For what? How will you settle down with such an old man? You're a young girl with bright future. I feel like my mother is trying to prevent something. That is why she consented to that marriage. She's not preventing anything. I think the reason is because of the difficulties your family are going through. Because your mom thinks that you getting married to that old man will lesser things for you people and you could be able to take care of your family. I don't care what the reasons are. It's just that I will not marry that man. That would be over my dead body. Chantal, how many times have I warned you never you to mention death whenever I'm with you? You're not going to marry that old man and nothing will ever make you marry that old man. Mm -hmm. I know you like this. Mm -hmm. I, I, I went to the kitchen. I did not see any food in the pot. And who gave you the permission to go to my pot? Well, there is no food for you. But you and Daniel is eating something. That means you prepared food. Since you have decided to disregard me by not marrying Mazindoka, who is rich and comfortable, and you know he, he will take care of us, I have decided to cut every relationship with you. But mama, mama is not good though. Don't try. You won't try it. Oh, mama is not good now. She has no eating. No, she's you my sister. Try it. You won't try it, Daniel. The only thing you know is to eat my food and dream your rubbish dream. Oh I say eat your food. If you don't eat, I'll carry it. I will eat all of them. Look at you. You don't want to eat. Okay, don't worry. I'll eat all of them. Look at this one. It's not good. It's not good. It's not good. Are you crying? Don't beat you. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'll give up. Don't worry. Sorry, my dear. Sorry. I will go and. She looks stressed out today. Is it about a constant sleepless night? Yes. A starvation equals sick. Starvation. Chantel, how many times have I told you that whenever you don't have any food at home, you shouldn't hesitate to come to the house? I will give you food. Are you are you saying that Daniel and, and Mama They've been starving since yesterday. No, they ate. They ate. So what about you? Why why are you talking about starvation? You, you, you didn't eat anything. I didn't choose to starve. My mom refused to give me food. Why? Because of my refusal to marry that old man. So your mom thinks by starving you, you will agree to marry that old man. That's very funny. I just hope your mother don't regret this. Well, I believe you're hungry, right? Um, we can just go get something to eat. Will you come to my house? All right, let's go. Don't worry. Everything is going to be fine, okay? I'm going to stand here with you. You're not going to marry that old man. All right, let's go.
I want to watch. Go to Mazin Duka's house. Your husband, go and watch this rag. Mama, hmm? why are you throwing my uniform like that now? Hey, and I will do more since you have decided to bring up disappointment upon this family by being a barrier between us and Mazin Duka's wealth. What wealth? Does he have any money? Oh, yes. Mazin Duka is the most successful bicycle repairer in this village. Yeah, on a charagia. He better nail your bicycle and he'll give direction. He'll be now. He'll go now, but he'll not. We'll marry that man. We'll marry him. I am your daughter. Why have you chosen to treat me like this because of that old man? Oh, you now know that you are my daughter. Yeah, and you suckle on this breast. You have the air front you to disrespect me. If you don't get married to that man, eh? Hey, Ula Gaba, Managab. I will make your stay in this house worse than hell for you. Where are you going to? I'm going to watch you the back. Stop! She's going to show my 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 show Sonny, you are here. Dad, is, is that you? Yeah, I was actually looking for you inside. There you are. I sat down here because of the certain breeze around here. Don't you think so? Yeah, I do. Okay, then. <laughs> come on, come on. No, son, don't worry. Are you sure? Yes. I okay. actually come to take you inside. Son, <laughs> they are showing your favorite series, Blood Dreams. <laughs> come, let's go and watch. Come on, let's go. Dad, eh? are you funny enough? Have you forgotten? I'm blind. I can't see a thing. <laughs> I can't see. <laughs> Son, Dad. I already know that. And I know you are very conversant with the channel. You love the program. With their voice, you will recognize what they're doing. Beside and there with you. So you have nothing to worry about. Let's go. Don't forget that they changed their characters and storyline after every season. You know, it's <laughs> funny how my eyes are wide open. But all I see is, is that which one sees with both eyes closed. <laughs> Don't worry. Just go inside and enjoy the program with you tonight. I'm sure she's in there waiting for you. Son, you know I cannot leave you here alone. You know that. Dad, you need to go. Please. I will be fine. I'm fine around here. It's not possible, son. Well, all right, Dad. Then. Then you can you can come and sit sit down here with me and keep me company. Father. No, Chantal Chantel. I did dream that. Why don't you go and ask your dead mother that question? How she managed to come out of her mother's home after her mother, your grandmother took series of abortion pills to get her out. I can bet that is why she came out as an imbecile. What? Yes! Cry, my little baby. Chantal. Chantal! That was harsh. You, you, you shouldn't have spoken to her in that despicable manner. I need to go and her right now. I couldn't! Um, I know what you're passing through. Just go and apologize. Like, that was so harsh on her. Mm -hmm. Alright? Hello. Amaka, I will leave after I tell you I'm sorry for everything. I shouldn't have meddled in your family affairs. I'm sorry. I have a lot going wrong with me right now. And I I shouldn't have transferred the aggression to you. It will repeat itself again. Oh, you said. Is it true? No, no, no. 
Pay no attention to me. I was just angry. I didn't mean anything. You've not answered my question! Are you sure? Uh, yes. Yes. They are true. Mark, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I... Please. Maka. Just leave me alone. Leave my presence. Now. I said leave! <laughs> <laughs> Ah, son. Father, how are you? Father, I would like to speak with you. Okay, go ahead. Ah. She is no longer a stranger. I can say whatever I want to say at present. Privately, Dad. Is that right, Mr. Benton? I'm not yet a member of the family. So is that appropriate for me to excuse you people to speak? I'll be inside. Father, what do you think that you are doing? Excuse me? You heard me, Father. How long do you intend to draw closer to Jezebel's piercing claws? Victor, I don't understand what you're talking about. Besides, why do you refer to her as Jezebel? I am glad that you know she's the one I refer to as Jezebel. At least, that is a good start. Victor, do you know the reason I have not allocated a befitting slap to this your face? It's because you are blind. Say, Dad, you are free to say it. And you are free to slap me if telling you the truth made you angry. At least my blind eyes can still cry the cry of pain. An advice, Father. When eating with the devil, come to the table with a long, sharp fork. Because I promise you, you will be needing it soon enough. Excuse me, Father. The hatchet I buried long time ago. This mistake of a daughter is trying as much as possible to dig it out. I know exactly what to do with her. Eloma <laughs> Zendoka, the course is clear now. You can come with your people. Let's do the marriage right. And you can tie her both hands and legs. Yes, if that's what it will cost. Okay. All right. Bye. See you tomorrow morning. Yes. Yes, you can take her home. Mm -hmm. Okay, bye. This girl, this girl wants to kill me. I would, I would, I would deal with that girl. She must, she must marry that man. Ah. The unrest in my house is becoming too much. I'm really confused. Like, I'm very confused. You mean your mother yes. is asking your elder sister to get married to an old man, old enough to be her father? No, old enough to be our grandfather. This is bad. So, what did your sister say about it? Did she agree? No, she didn't. You know my sister can't agree to such. This is bad. Why would your mother take such a decision? I don't know. And do you know that I overheard my mother telling that old man to come to our house on Monday morning? Yes. To come and perform the marriage rites. 
Um, and uh, do you know what? My mom also told him to bundle her to his house. Really? Yes. This is bad. It's, it's not fair. It's not good. Have you told your sister about it? No, I haven't. Why? Because I'm scared of what my mom will do to me when she finds out. No, no, no. You have to tell your sister. I mean, she really has to know. You think so? Yes. You have to tell your sister. Okay then. Jermaine, that's what your mother wants you to do. My mother wants to ruin my life. She wants me to be a third wife to a man that she cannot even get married to. That's so disheartening. Why would your mother think of a thing like that? This marriage is not going to work. Not while I'm still alive. Chantel, I hope it's not what I'm thinking. Don't even think about it. I'm glad you figured it out. Chantel! Chantel! Sister, can I join you? Just I want to tell you something. Okay. I'm scared of telling you. Why are you scared? Because if Mama finds out, she'll skin me alive. Okay, I won't tell her. I'm too scared. I'm no, scared. No, no, I cross my heart. I will not tell her anything. Are you sure? I overheard Mama telling Mazi Nduka that you should come to our house on Monday morning and perform your marriage rights and bundle you to his house by tying your hands and legs. What? Yes. Are you sure? It's Mama that said this thing you're telling me. Yes, I'm very sure. But please don't tell Mama. No, no, no. I won't tell her. Hey, thank you so much, Daniel, for telling me this. Just know you saved this, so I'm coming. Oh, okay. Can you? Sure. Okay. <clears throat> do you really love me? Of course, you know I do. I really do love you. Okay, how do you want me to prove it? Marry me. Be my wife. Are you serious? Yes, I am. This ring? Yes. My late wife's ring. No, that is not right. You can't propose to me with the same ring you proposed to your late wife now. Yes, because I love you. You're the same way I loved my late wife. But even our dad, it still doesn't seem right. Shall we? Yes! Oh, 
Oh my god, you saw. <laughs> I'm looking for you. Look at, look at, look at. Oh, I forgot you can't see. Your father just proposed to me. Look at it. It's a gold ring. Well fits into my hands. <laughs> anyway, I just said, let me tell you the good news. Prepare because I'm going to be your stepmother. And don't worry, I'll take very good care of you. I can't stay and shut. I have to go in and keep my to be husband busy. I don't want to keep you waiting. See ya. <laughs> How could you, father? How could you disrespect the memories of my late mother this way? I don't understand. What are you talking about? It is disheartening, dad. That barely a year since the demise of my mother, your late wife, you have successfully proposed marriage to another woman. And not just another woman. A woman that my late mother considers her best friend and sister. And what is more disheartening is that you propose to her with the same ring that was retrieved from my mother's accident scene. If you loved my mother the way you say you did, you would never do that, Dad. Son, your mother, my wife, is dead and gone. And there's nothing we can do about it. Am I supposed to be single for the rest of my life? No! Huh? Yes, I need a companion. And let me tell you, please. Don't you ever say the matter as consigning love to me again. Because you know nothing about love. No. I love your mother. I loved her, my wife. And nothing has changed. A lot have changed about you, father. Because there are no life in the words you just spoke about the love you have for my mother. You didn't even tell me that you proposed to her. She had to personally come and tell me. Father. Can't you see that this woman is playing you? It's obvious you are the one who can't see here. Son, yes. For your own information, you have a new mother. And her name is Ifonanya. So deal with it. Where's your bag? I left it in the house. Why? Are you going to put on all this all true? How are you going to change your clothes? I put some clothes in my school bag. Do you know what? I couldn't leave the house with my big bag without my mom seeing me. Did you tell anyone about this? Only Daniel and you knows. Why are you all this question? Well... Because I'm a bad friend. If I'm a good friend, I wouldn't advise you to run away from the house. I need to. Do you know the consequences if I don't? Yeah. I, I, I don't have much, but... I just have to manage it. Thank you, Stephen. Um, Chantal. Take care of yourself, okay? Be a good girl. I'm going to miss you. I'll miss you too. I'll leave immediately after class. Okay. Hugs for the last time, because you don't know when I need
Don't worry, she will soon come back. Yeah? That's Miss your sister. Yeah? I don't know. Maybe she might probably be attending her school lesson. By this time? School lesson by this time? Eh? Mama, what do you want to say now? What is going on there? Mazi, calm down. Mazi, please calm down, bro. I'm just telling to go with my brother. Can somebody tell me what exactly is going on here? Because I'm confused. Where is my wife? Uh, probably she can be in her friend's house. It's high time I end their friendship. What? See, woman, just go in there. Bring out my wife, Chantel. Now, else, you are going to refund me every dime I have spent in this house. I love you. I hope you, you heard me. Chantel is not inside. She's not inside. I'm bothered to check because she's not yes. there. Maz, don't worry. I will go and bundle her back. If I bring her back, I will bring her to your house. Please. You have only five hours. Five hours to bring my wife, my love, to my house. You know the consequences. Please calm down. Please just hear me say, bundle. Mama, so you've been collecting money from Mazi. I really don't know about it. Come on, shut up. Will you shut up? Collecting more money from Mazi. You don't know about it. Will you shut up? Mama, how will you be doing that thing without my consent? Mama? Look at you. Daniel, you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what is it? It looks sick. What is it? Sweetheart, I'm overwhelmed. And if it's not attended to, I might break down. Talk to me, please. What is the problem? The workload in this house is too much. The house chores are just overwhelming me. Plus, Victor inclusive. It is too much for me. Honey, we are just three in this house, and the housework is not that much. Besides, you've never heard this complaint before. Is that what you think? You're always out there in the office every day. I am left here to take care of the house, and you know Victor is incapacitated. I will so have to take care of him. It is too much and it's weighing me down. Please, sweetheart, you have to do something about it. I break down. Get me in bed or something. Uh, anyway, that won't be a problem. Hmm? I will I will get to someone to help you take care of him and do other housework. Oh really? <laughs> oh my <laughs> god, my love. Anything for you. And um while at it, please let it be a small girl, an old woman, or even a male. <laughs> Yeah, I don't want that. <laughs> no, no, I will, I will bring him a one picture, a one, you know? Uh -huh. Don't even try it. Don't <laughs> even try it. I don't want a competition in this house. Please, anything for you. I'm running late. <laughs> Thank you. I'm running late. That's See like you. your special. Yeah, come on. Please, I need one full ice cream. <laughs> Get it for you. Okay. <laughs>
Dad. No, that's that's not Dad. Who is who is that? Oh, what, what what are you doing here? Have the angel of death sent you to take what is left of my life? Who are you? Uh, my name is Chanta. And why is there so much anger in your eyes? But you're blind. My eyes are dim, but my soul shines brightest. State your mission. What are you doing here? I came regards to the employment notice I saw outside. And you think the best way to go about it is to barge into someone's house unannounced? Without waiting for the gatekeeper to pre-inform the house owners of your arrival? I'm sorry. I I've been knocking but no one was answering. Well, congratulations. You just made your first impression. I'm sorry, sir. Shut it. Shut it and tell that to the gatekeeper on your way out. Step outside and do the need for. And if the gatekeeper is still unavailable to attend to you, do you remain there until he returns? Now get out. I can't take this any longer. This is too heavy on me to carry. How am I supposed to live with the guilt of the fact that I know Chantal's whereabouts? <laughs> Why her mother is here worrying over her and thinking that she was kidnapped? I just can't hold this back any longer. I need to tell her the truth. She won't do anything. She will even be happy that at least she knows where her daughter is. I think that's what I'm going to do. I just, I just can't bear this anymore. Dad, Dad, who, who did you just enter the house with? Son, is that how to welcome me? Sorry, Dad. Good afternoon. Afternoon. Um, her name is Chantel, our new housekeeper. Impossible. I don't like her. Son, but you don't even know her. Well, do you? Do you know her enough to usher her into our house? There is no harm living with this girl under the same roof. I don't like her. She is here to stay. Better deal with it. What's that? I don't wish for you to have problems with your son. Well, it's obvious that you're bringing problems between me and my father. The moment you stepped your feet into this house, you feel the house will kill us and pandemonium. Just leave this minute. Son, will you stop it? Don't you ever call her names again. Chantel, let's go inside. Follow me. How could you? How could you? Don't say how could you? I asked. 
for a small girl or a male servant you went and brought a woman for me what is a small girl did you ever care to ask her age i know a small girl and i know a woman when i see one she is 15 that is a lie a lie from the pit of hell she told me by herself don't be deceived by her look no she just 15 even at that, I don't like her. There is something about that girl that doesn't sit well with me. <clears throat> I am serious, I don't like her. See, see, I understand you. Come on. Come on. Come on. I understand you. Hmm? It's just because you don't know her. But if you get to know her, you will like her. <laughs> see, eh? I, I wouldn't want you to overstress yourself again in this house. She's here to free you. She's here to help you take care of the house. I'm doing it for you. You know that? that? Even like that. Eh. 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 Come. Come. You know I love you. Mm, I love you. Uh-uh. She's here, babe. She's here to help you. Hmm? I know my mom. Good afternoon, ma. Um, ma. Mama, I I have something to tell you. It it has been bothering me. I just can't keep it to myself anymore. That's why I I came here to talk to you about it, ma. It's it's about Good afternoon, brother. Yeah. Danny, how are you? Fine. Um, Mama. Ma, I feel guilt in my heart knowing fully well that I'm supposed to protect Chantel. Like I I always walk her home. I just don't know what happened that day. I I know you're not happy with me, but What? You are still cleaning? Look at the sink. Mom, I was going to do that. I have not, I'm not done. You asked me to clean the whole house, so I'm currently cleaning the dining room. How dare you? How dare you speak? Your job in this house is to listen to my instructions and nod your head in agreement. Don't you dare. Not one more word. Who is that? Who's crying? Who's that crying? Uh, she. Mama, the matter of clean. Are you reporting me? If I. Don't you dare! Play those cursed fingers against her. The last I checked, my father employed this girl as a maid and a caregiver. But since she stepped her foot into, into this house, she has been playing the role of a slave. Because you have never treated her as though she's human. And today marks the end of that. What? You heard me. You are talking to me like that. Don't you know I'm your stepmother? <laughs> Do you know that I still consider you one of my father's few concubines? <laughs> Even after I get married to you, you would never be welcomed into this house. Chantel, come with me. Come and tend to my needs at least. That is one of the reasons why you are here. Come. 
help me. Thank you. Thank you for saving me from my jam today. Don't misunderstand my actions. We're still not friends. Just that I hate seeing people being maltreated. And I hate that woman with so much passion. I don't know why she hates me so much. That's none of my business. When you came to this house, I asked you the purpose of you coming into this house. Until now, you haven't given me a sincere answer. I already told you I came to look for a job. Don't you dare lie to me. You came here for something else. Something very important to you. And I want to know what that is. How do you know all of this? I know that because I miss the noise and pandemonium. You haven't for once attempted to leave this house. What brought you to this house is very vital to you. And that I want to know. And don't you dare lie to me because I would personally bundle you out of this house. Don't underestimate me because of my condition. I came to find answers to the constant vision I see. I don't understand. There is something about this house that I'm yet to fulfill. I... I don't understand any of this. I don't understand either. What are you even saying? Please, help me. Help me get my phone. And call my family's doctor. I think you're done with fever. I need to examine you. Please, check for my phone. It's around here. Help me.